Listen, I've been getting some comments on my videos from people saying I'm a narcissist or that I'm a sociopath or that the way I act and talk in my videos scares them. So today I'm talking about an entire species I would euthanize if I were God. Starting off this list is the one you all expect. It's in the thumbnail. Now listen, almost every animal, every living thing has someone who kind of likes it, okay? Even weird ones, bird-eating spiders, f***ing cicadas. Some nerd is gonna like them. Not mosquitoes. Nobody appreciates these. I mean, I mean, what do I need to say? They, they drink your blood, okay? Not only that, they're not even dangerous. They're just annoying. Unless you live in Africa, then they're really, really dangerous. You see that? 50 billion deaths. Now, normally, I would respect that. I'm a big fan of mass destruction, but the mosquitoes aren't even the ones doing the killing. They're just a lame middleman that happens to have caught the insect version of the clap and is making it our problem. Moving on. The mosquito crane. Okay, these are just weird. I have a lot of these where I live, and you get used to them. But the worst thing about these is that they are everywhere. They don't bite. Thank fucking God. Look at this. It's so unattractive. Look at the proportion of its legs to its body. Even its wings are ugly. These things are also dumb as hell. I've had them in my car before and I've tried to give them a chance. You roll down all the windows, they just stay in there. I want you to look at this thing. Really look at it. Do you think it feels love? Do you think there's a soul in there? No, no. Get it out. I don't want it to exist. The hyena. All right, here's the thing. The hyena is very out of place in its environment. The African savanna, it's full of these amazing, creatures. You got zebras, giraffes, elephants, all the big cats. You know, they're all pretty cool. And then the hyena is just weird. First of all, look at the proportions of this thing. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Its neck is like half of its body and its legs are too small. I want you to hear what they sound like. <laughs> Listen to that evil cackle. <laughs> it laughs like a hu- it's weird. They know what they are. They're not that strong on their own, but they hunt in packs of like 50. It's terrifying. Also, they eat bones. There's a reason that when an animal dies, the bone is the only thing that's left. You're not supposed to eat that. They do. Get out of here. You aren't following the rules. There are guidelines to being a mammal, okay? There are things you don't do. Even when they're well fed, they don't bulk up. They just get a weird beer belly going on. Also, fun fact, I've been to Africa. I've seen hyenas. They smell like shit. Pouches near their anus create a foul smelling paste called hyena butter, which they rub onto objects and even each other. What's the point of this? All right, like was it not bad enough? You had to have them rub their shit on each other too? Good God. Leave it to the skunk, okay? This thing's cute so it gets a free pass. The blobfish. Yeah, I just think this one looks fat. That's all there is to it. I mean, look at his sad face. Jesus Christ. What an absolute bum of an animal. This one's more of a mercy kill. I mean, poor thing. Looks like the average rural American. Just begging to die, really. I think what makes this so scary is that it's almost human-like, but not quite the... It's just not nice to look at. I'm sorry. Why are your fins so small? How do you swim? The goblin shark is the next that I would smite. And this is the only shark on this list. Because I think other sharks are cool, okay? There's a difference between scary and freaky. This is scary. This is cool. This is badass. This is not. If a shark could be a crazy hillbilly, this would be it. It's not good to look at, okay? Also, why do they all look so malnourished? It's like the shark comes naturally dehydrated. I mean, can you imagine seeing this swimming? You'd shit your pants, but you'd also feel bad for it. It, just looking at its face. Oh, and if that wasn't bad enough, I want you to look at how its jaw works. Do you see how its whole jaw extends out of its body? That's not a thing that should exist, okay? Okay, God, Allah, the creators of the simulation, whoever made this, whoever's responsible. I don't know if you were drunk or high or just having a really bad day, but why do you have to take it out on us? This one also kind of falls under the category of a mercy kill. I doubt this thing would want to keep on living if it could see itself. Quick little side tangent. This is the viper fish. It's like the same thing, but smaller, still freaky, still don't want it to be a thing, would also demolish this species. Listen, this seems a little brutal. Who's gonna miss these? If you were swimming and you saw this, would you be happy? No, no. Don't pretend like I'm not doing good work here. I'm gonna apply an umbrella extinction here. Any animal that doesn't have a static jaw, like, you know, aliens, you're gone. You're done. I'm sorry. You had a good run, but you're not built for this earth. Next up are human children. All right, a lot of you are gonna get mad at me for this one, but the sloth. I'm sorry, it's just a really lame animal. It eats and sleeps all day. It's like the uncle no one really likes. And yeah, they're kind of cute. You want to know a little fun fact about sloths? It's very common for them to mistake their own f 
fucking arm for a tree branch and just fall to their death. Not entirely true, they don't actually die when they hit the ground, but still. If all you do in life is climb trees and eat food, you should at least be really good at those two things. And these aren't. So I'm sorry, this one's a little brutal because they are cute, but they, they gotta go. Can a sloth kill you? Oh god, they can move quick when they want to. Wait, I, I gotta see this. <laughs> what? Wait a minute, this is a thing? Okay, no, I was lied to. This thing isn't fighting. He's just confused. He thinks this guy's food. The harrowing cat. This is false advertisement. This thing's half asleep. Look at it. It doesn't even look like it's a lie. Oh, okay, this is kind of sad. Th they move so slow. This is what them fighting looks like. Looks like they're awkwardly trying to hold hands. All right, back to bad insects. This one's the worst. The tapeworm. I don't want to simply extinct this one. That would be too nice. I want to find some way to cause this harm. You want to know what a tapeworm does? It crawls up your butthole. Okay, this is their gig. And these things are massive. Six feet long. It eats poop. What What more do I need to say here? Are you not convinced that this doesn't deserve to exist? It also lives inside of you. It's disturbing. Get it out. Next up is the giant isopod. I'm pretty, I know I don't want to shop for giant isopods. Look at this thing's face. It's out of a horror movie. All right, now look at how they move. These are one of the most charismatic deep sea animals. No, it's really not. It's like a giant roly poly. There's too many legs. One of my favorite deep sea animals. And All right, there's something wrong with this girl. How could you like this thing? You like this? This is one of your favorite deep sea animals? Why does it need claws too? Was the devilish face not enough for you? They're kind of funny. I'll admit that. We can keep a few of them for the memes, but I want them out of the oceans. Up next, the daddy long legs. This is one of my least favorite. They're f***ing weird. Now you'll notice this is the only spider on this list. There's shit like this. This thing eats birds. That's its gig. It's the bird eating spider. Now I don't like this, but at least it's badass. Okay, this can kill you probably. This cannot. They're not even dangerous. They're not huge, but they're not small enough to be, you know, not scary. And just look at their proportions. Got this tiny body. And then these legs that just come out of nowhere. Where is this thing's eyes? Where is its heart? Are there veins going through this? Like, how do the legs not just snap? And I actually know for a fact that they do, because I've seen some of these with like two or three legs just barely struggling along. And as I said before, they aren't even dangerous. If you're gonna look scary, at least, you know, hold up that reputation. Don't just be lame and boring. That's not the worst part either. You don't like insects, you should press the L button on your keyboard a couple of times and skip this bit because this is how they live together. <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm getting all itchy just looking at these thumbnails. I'm gonna click on one for a few seconds and then I'm gonna leave. Why is your hand in- uh, those are spiders. Uh, yeah, 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 no. <laughs> Get it out of here, please. Thank you. I'm a little bit biased for this one because I have some daddy long leg trauma. I live in Austin, and so do these things. I've seen these nests. I've gotten a little too close to one and had a couple jump on me. The naked mole rat. This one's just ugly. I mean, not much more to it. There's not an attractive part on this thing. I mean, even as a baby, it is, it's just not good looking. It's got like some kind of skin disease just in every single specimen. I mean, it looks like a ball sack. Not good to look at. All right, when I made the list for this video, I put piranha on it, but I'm having second thoughts now because th these are kind of cool, right? They're freaky. The one thing I don't like about them is that they hunt in packs, which for a sea creature, it's bad enough to be hunted when you're in the water, not in your natural environment. But to have like 50 of these swarm you, it wouldn't be good. But I guess that's kind of the whole point of a piranha. So I'm, I'm not going to extinct this one. This one gets, I don't know, honorable mention. Uh, definitely no soul in this one. But again, it can still stay. The spider crab. I don't think these are dangerous. And there isn't anything objectively wrong with them. But I mean, come on, they're so big. Let me show you a video of them to better express this. Crabs are already pretty ugly, okay? They're sea cockroaches. I don't love them, but I don't hate them enough to demolish their entire species. But when whoever runs things around here created this creature, he just said, F it. I'm taking all of the bad stuff from the daddy long legs and all of the bad stuff from the isopod and I'm just gonna create some weird amalgamation of the two of them and it's gonna be horrible and then this thing popped out spider crabs can have a leg span of over three meters you hear that a leg span of three that's nine feet be capable of devouring a human child oh that's nice ah they just pile on top of each other Jesus 
fucking Christ. I would rather die than be here. Oh, what was that? I didn't quite comprehend that clip that I just saw. Believe they're immortal. I'm assuming he just shed? What? Crabs don't. This one has half its legs and it's still going. They can grow back their limbs too. This is a super crab. It's too capable. Get it out. It's unfair to the other kids. The other species. I don't know why I said kids. This is the immortal jellyfish. This one just gets penalized because it doesn't follow the rules. This isn't how things work. Okay. You don't get to live forever. You got to stop that and get out. Nothing really too bad about this one. It's just you, you got to follow the rules. Okay. I just did some research. Turns out there is actually such a thing as a sea spider. This one's gone. Sorry. I don't even need to know much more about it. This is an actual arachnid that lives underwater. Arachnids? I love you. I don't, but I love you. I'm getting really close to just extincting just all of you. you gotta be careful with me, okay? You keep pulling shit like this, you're not gonna be around much longer.